I'm Peter Campos, and we're in my house in East Patchogue, New York, on Long Island. I wanted to go to art school, but I wasn't allowed to go to art school, so I was sent to engineering school, which I kind of did really poorly at, and then I got a degree in, in um, what was called at the time experimental psychology, which is really key to what I did. By the late 60s, they started coming out with these video cameras that, at least in looks, were something like film cameras, but nothing like it. They were not very well resolved at all, very low quality. And that in itself was very interesting. So what I was interested in, basically cognition, um, took me to what I was doing with a, a different point of view than had I just gone through art school. So a lot of the works that I was doing was multi-layered. I mean, it was first trying to understand this technology interaction with us humans. So one of my better known pieces is Interface. And that was strictly about a person trying to react to their video image and their reflected image at the same time. There was something very otherworld about it. So the video image was kind of the way people would see you and the reflected image was kind of the way you'd see yourself. And so there's that whole issue of seeing yourself inside and seeing yourself outside, and both of which are important. Cosmic view of the universe and your internal view of the universe are both equally important. So in that piece they're presented at the same time. Video was a totally different thing than a film camera. I mean, it was, it was something where you here is the camera and you could look at what was on the camera somewhere over there, which I called displacement of image. Door is a really good example of that use because I put the camera facing the doorway and as they enter the room, because the room is dark, there's no light on them. And so once they get past like a foot or two, then it goes dark. You can't see yourself, but you can see other people. And the other part of it is that as you're going through the door and you turn your head sharply to the direction of the screen, you can see a very distorted view of yourself. Maybe this is putting it too strongly, but the idea is to discourage people from looking at themselves because, in my opinion, we really can't. We don't, probably thankfully, really have a good idea of what we look like. Uh, and so the piece was a bit like that. And other people can see you, but you can't see yourself. <laughs>